guys, Miranda here, and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Let me tell you, Christmas is at the Dollar Tree. It's not even Halloween yet, you guys, and Christmas is already at DT, okay? So um, I didn't go crazy like I normally would, just there wasn't really anything they really called to me kind of Christmas-wise. They did have a few new signs out this year, which was kind of nice. Same with like the greeting cards and mugs and all of that. So let's just go ahead and get into this. I did pick up a few Christmas items, but you know, nothing, uh, you know, too, too exciting, I guess. Um, but first up, so you guys, I am honestly kind of terrified of gnomes, but I just, I had to get this mug. It is so flipping cute. You guys know I love my mugs, so this is going to be perfect to add to my little Christmas mug collection. I think that's the only place I've ever bought in Christmas mugs is at Dollar Tree. They had a couple other ones that I wanted to get, but the ones that were at the store that I went to, they were kind of like chipped or peeling or had some weird little marks on it, so I passed on them. Hopefully I can go to another store and find them, but this, you guys, was too cute to pass up. They do have a whole line. Um, there's like a sign. There's the pot holders, the kitchen towel, all of that, but I just wanted this mug known for the holidays, you guys. So stinking cute. Then they got in some new candles, and these are by the Rose Collection. I'm pretty sure this is just a Greenbrier brand. Uh, yes, um, but they, they're cute, you guys. The lids though they're kind of really um worn out I guess you could say because you can see um like the silver and everything that's underneath it and whatnot but I went ahead and picked them up because they were cute and they smell amazing you guys um so this one is the festive pine uh you definitely get the pine scent but it's almost like a sweet kind of pine if that makes any sense but you have the cute little um paper on the outside it has little foxes and then the pine trees and stuff like that so it's that one and then i got this one which is the frosted gingerbread show you the outside of it this one this one's a little bit more lighter scented I wouldn't really say it smells like gingerbread, but it kind of smells like frosting, like the frosting for the gingerbread. That's kind of what that one smells like. Um, then they had this cranberry chutney. I think this one of all of them was like one of my favorites. This one, it smells almost like a kind of like spiced cranberry because you definitely have the cranberry scent, but there's also some sort of a little spice going on there. And then you also have the frosted wonderland like that this one smells pretty good too it's very kind of refreshing um i don't know what you want to call it. it just has a really nice kind of fresh scent to it very kind of like outdoorsy sort of scent so i went ahead and i picked that up and these you guys i just use them in the bathroom because obviously these are not going to make your entire house smell amazing but they work fine in the bathroom perfect for that I went a little greeting card crazy, you guys. So like I said, I was surprised to see some new ones this year um, because the past couple years, I've pretty much just seen the same ones. Um, one that caught my eye immediately, and I had to get this. This was just so pretty. It's this one that says Season's Greetings, and it has the deers on the front. And I just thought that this was so beautiful. And inside, it says Sending Warm Winter Wishes this Holiday Season, and you do get 14 in here. Um, and some of these, you guys, most of their little boxes that they have displayed, they only display certain ones in the front, so you kind of got to dig through them, because there's at least five or six different um, designs in each box, so I did get that one, and I also picked up this one, it's Merry Christmas, and this one has the red truck, now you guys know I don't really care much for the red truck, but I mean, for Christmas cards to send out to people that I know like the red truck, so hey, got this one, and this one you actually only get six. Um, so because it has the kind of like pop out red truck right there, they had several like different other ones. Um, this one, you only get six in it, but um, inside it says have a season filled with beautiful moments. So we got that one. I thought that one was really pretty. Um, usually the red truck ones are always hiding in the back, you guys. So that's why I say you got to go through and uh, just check out all the ones that are there. Um, next up, this one is very beautiful. It says Joy to the World. And you have this like little angel on the front playing the trumpet. And inside it says, let every heart prepare him room in heaven and nature sing. Next up, this one too, very pretty. This one says, oh, holy night. 
and you have the Virgin Mary on there and um, well, baby Jesus it says wishing you a blessed Christmas get 14 in there then they have this one that is the Merry Christmas and you have the plaid red truck on it or buffalo check whatever you want to call it um, this one you get 12 and it says best wishes for a wonderful holiday that brings fond memories to last a lifetime and then the last set I got, I thought this was so cute, you guys. I love the chubby little Santa that's on it. says, snow much fun. And I just thought that was so cute. You get 12 in this one. It says, wishing you a happy, jolly, cheerful kind of Christmas. All right, moving right along. I did come across some new candy. Um, this is the popping candy in the root beer flavor so i want to go ahead and try that out i'm not too too huge on root beer flavored candies but i mean they're like little pop rocks so i mean why not um then they also had it in the tropical punch flavor and you do get 10 little packs in here and i'll actually show you guys because honestly i forgot i was going to do a video and i opened these lemon ones right here um and they come in these little packs that look like this they're like itty bitty uh, me personally, I did not care for these at all. I felt like this was pure sugar and very artificial. Like I was expecting it since it's lemon to at least have like some sort of a sour flavor to it. And it did not. It literally, I felt like I was eating a mouthful of sugar. So yeah, I would not purchase this one again. I don't know about these other two and how they taste. We'll see. Um, but if this was a no-go, these might also be a no-go. I don't know. Um, and then I came across some new uh, little gummies here. What brand is this by? Um, uh, says America's Favorite Candies. I don't know. For some reason, I thought this was going to be like trolley or something, but I guess not. Um, but we have these Sour Jacks Mouth Puckering Candy in the Watermelon. So they're like little watermelon slices there. I guess they're supposed to be super, super sour. I don't know. But I love sour and I love gummies. So I got that one. And then they also had it in this wild berry flavor as well. So I'm very excited to try these out. Um, this is lemonade. Oh, they're both like the same. The only difference. So in both of these, you get lemonade. And then you also get, what does it say? Sour green apple. And then the only difference is you get a watermelon in here and wild berry in this one. So... We'll see. One more Christmas item I forgot was in the bag is this little sign right here. This is the one that I was on the hunt for. I had found the Santa and the snowman, I think it is, at one store, but they did not have him. And I found him, the little elf says happy holidays. So now I have the complete set there. And then you guys, I thought this was pretty cool. So they got some new incense in. I'm a huge fan of incense. I know people aren't always a huge fan because they can be a tad bit overwhelming at times because they are so strongly scented. But I love the way the incense just makes your whole entire house smell amazing. Um, and it's more inexpensive than buying like candles and stuff like that. Um, and honestly, I think the incense is pretty like kind of relaxing, just keeps a nice little atmosphere in the house. But anywho, you guys, so they had these Ganesh sticks is what they call them or incense air freshener but they are zodiac sign ones you guys so me i'm a capricorn um and it does tell you right here it gives you a little symbol it tells you what it is and then the dates there and it actually shows you like what the little constellation looks like so i thought that was pretty cool you get 20 sticks in here and this one is the scent is supposed to be warm cassia bark and amber crystals don't know um, oh, and it even gives you like a little thing here on the back um, about like the traits and just like little information, the dates and like, you know, um, personality symbols and all of that. So that's kind of cool. I didn't realize that when I bought it. So it does give you like all the little information right there. So again, my sign, the goat fish Capricorn. So I got one for each of like, you know, my whole family. So my husband is a Leo, so I got a Leo here for him. And these like, they're so strongly scented, you guys. I can smell it like through the packaging here. This one is uh, Fiery Mandarin Spice and Majestic Sunflowers. And then there's a little information on the back as well. And then, um, oh, did I pick up? 
Oh, I think I picked up two. Oh man, I meant to pick up a Scorpio, but I guess I picked up two Capricorn because my son is a Scorpio. Um, so yeah. Oh well, <laughs> I have to maybe go back and get the Scorpio one. That's okay. Um, but I did pick up Aquarius. My daughter, literally, uh, my oldest daughter, she is by one day, like she was over one day from being a Capricorn, so she's an Aquarius. <laughs> so oh, I guess it's two days because. It says January 20th, and she's the 21st of January. Um, but you have the Water Bearer. And this one is Crisp Apple, Cool Citrus, and Soft Orchid Blossoms. And then the information on the back there. Okay, so moving right along, you guys. They had some new Bolero out. I didn't find any of, like, the men's products because they do have some new, like, m actual, like, men's products. Like, th that's a first for Bolero. Um, I was hoping to maybe find some of this stuff just so as I want to see. I don't know if Hubby would actually use it, but, you know, what, whatevs. Um, <laughs> it's not like it's, you know, we urgently need it or anything like that. But I did come across some new scents that they had. Um, and the packaging is like really, really cute. Like I'm loving these like little polka dot kind of things going on, like the different little dots or bubbles, whatever. Um, but I did pick up one of each scent of the face wipes because I don't know what any of this stuff smells like. So I don't know if I'm actually going to like the scent or not, but you get 32 in here. And this is the rose water and honey facial wipes. So I got that one. They also had the orange blossom and lavender. And then they also had the pineapple aloe vera. And then another item from them that I picked up was this peppermint eucalyptus foot scrub. I love foot scrubs, you guys. I honestly haven't actually used one in like many, many years. But um, this one is invigorate and cleanse your skin. It's a little three flow ounce bottle. So I am definitely looking forward to trying this out. And then this I was surprised to see because I don't recall ever uh, seeing Bolero come out with like body mist. I, maybe they have and I just never seen it. But you guys, um, they had three different ones. And like I said, I just freaking love this packaging here. But they're two flow ounce bottles. And this one is peonies and pear. And then they also had vanilla bean and peppermint. And then they also had coconut and wild berries. If I end up liking these, I may go back and get some more um, because honestly, I'm really digging the scents here. But that's all that I picked up from Bolero. They had the whole other like face masks and hair mask things and I don't know what the heck else was there. like bubble fizzers or something, I don't know. <laughs> um, there is pictures on the Instagram though, you guys, if you are interested in following me, it will be linked in the description box below. All right, and then you guys know me and my cactuses and succulents. So they have some no trinket trays, and so I picked them up. Um, there's also a couple other ones in this line. There is a flamingo, and then I think the other one's a unicorn, but you guys, anytime I see trinket trays, I have like a gazillion of these. <laughs> I have a gazillion of them, <laughs> but uh, I always pick them up, you guys, because I do. I just, I love it. I love, love, love my cactuses and succulents, you guys. And then the last thing that I picked up, you guys, was just, uh, I picked up three of these 8x10 frames. They have the gold uh, edges. Um, I bought these prints off of Amazon um, that I want to put in my bathroom at our new place. Um, and so I just needed some frames for them. Um, you guys will see them. They're, they're super cute, you guys. <laughs> Whenever I get around to doing a house tour when we uh, move and stuff, I will show you guys after it's all decorated and whatnot. But yeah, so that is it for this haul, you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Join the family if you have not, and I will see you in my next video, you guys. Bye.